Sign it. No problem. Um, title. Title from here. Here's your annual inspection. Cool. Means there you are. Good sir. Thank you very Price, much. Have him sign it now. Back, I get a copy back, because he's back, really uh, good at not. So let's have you sign yeah, like right there. Oh, <laughs> Santa Monica. You want to use my back here, <laughs> 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 Yeah, that's right. So back to Santa Monica, go. This is one of those moments that you love to see when someone who has a history with a bus is able to reconnect with it. And how fortunate is it that people who are friends yeah. can find out randomly at a wedding yeah. that this bus we share in common. Yeah. How wonderful is that? One of, one of two. Yep. Yeah, one of two. It's going home where it belongs. Yeah. So, although we're going to miss it here and we're going to go out and visit it. <laughs> yeah, good excuse. So, so to excuse. fill us in on the story. So, well, so basically the bus was one of two. It was 471 and 472. They've gone to Santa Monica Municipal Bus Lines, and I got a job there in 84, well, what, 21, just turned 21, and they had two of these, and I just got hired on from a charter company, so I knew exactly what the buses did and what they used them for, though um, we weren't able to drive it because of my seniority, and that shortly changed, and I was pretty much in the bus for the next 10 years of my driving career with the city, so they sold them and when they sold them off i didn't really care too much and about them going because we were buying two uh four brand new 45 foot buses so back then i wasn't didn't own any bus just drove and didn't think about where they went just knew that they were selling them and about eight nine months ago i was up here in minnesota for uh his wedding and we we're sitting at the table dinner table talking about different purchases of buses and Stan's dad comes up and tells me, he goes, oh, I bought some buses from Santa Monica. Because he said, you work for Santa Monica? I said, yeah. He said, I bought a MC9. And I said, really? I go, which one? And then uh, later on, he told me the number. And I said, well, I drove that bus. I drove the bus for 10 years. <laughs> and just randomly joking, I said, well, where's it at? I go, I, you know. He said, well, we're going to retire it soon, which is about four, five, six months ago. Yep. And it's retired, so I asked them and see if they'd want to sell it. They said yes, and went up there, rolled up the head sign, and the head sign actually still there. It says Santa Monica on it. A couple of weeks ago, <laughs> yeah. we were lucky enough to get a visit from you, yep. and we went down to where we had were storing the bus, and you had a chance to sit and share stories with us oh, yeah. and relive memories. Yep. Well, yep. So it's funny. Yeah, I mean, I was pretty much in it six, six, five days a week, <laughs> and what was funny is because um, I think. Well, eventually they did it to both, but uh, when we got them, they had steel wheels, so I had them put aluminum wheels on it as they came out back in the 80s, and then I was just laughing as you came in because the other one didn't have it. So this one happens to have that flasher in the back between the rubber rails, yep. Yep. and I requested that they put those on because I had trouble getting over because I only had the front. So the other one actually doesn't have it. Only this one has it because I bugged them for months to, to put it on there. And after I kept repeatedly asking and they didn't do it, I did it myself. <laughs> and, they and they didn't like what I did, so they went actually and did it right. <laughs> but, uh, but again, here we are, look, 20-something years later. Yeah. And yeah. Plus, going back basically 20 miles from where they picked it up. <laughs> so it's pretty, pretty funny. Pretty funny. But uh, we'll use it back there for movies and stuff. I did contact my buddy over at Santa Monica and told him the story, and he thought it was funny yeah. that the bus is coming back. You know, it's still around. Actually, he was amazed that the bus is still running. <laughs> so they've done some modern, some little changes to it and stuff, but that's okay. It's right. They're all for the best. But uh, I just thought it was really funny just that I'm coming down here today and picking this thing up and taking it home. So, so this guy right here, 
he's done a really good job of making this up, but actually he has no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> this is actually the person who came to pick up the bus. This is Kelly, I want to introduce you. And here's the thing. He he had a will drive for food sign, and he was standing at an off ramp, and that's, that's how she met him. Yeah, that's right. So uh, anyways, uh, we should be home in two days. Hoping to be home by Thursday night. And uh, we'll keep you in touch and let you know how yeah. that goes. Fun. And you guys are both going to drive? You're going to share the driving? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to split it four hours apiece, everybody. You know, no stopping, fuel only. Bus is equipped with a restroom. So, you know, there it is. You know, if you got to stop and fuel, and that'll be your, your time to get out and get what you're going to get. But uh, we've done the trip before, a little bit longer. So this, this shouldn't be too bad. Weather's good. It's not 110 degrees. <laughs> So I don't have to worry about the heat work. Works, you know, that's right. And the heat <laughs> does work. Yeah. So we're going to be good. We're going to be all right. In a little bit, I'll be asleep anyway. So yep. <laughs> all right. Well, congratulations on Thank getting you your bus back. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah, it's cool. Thank you. Need Thank to you. see. There's a box with a belt, some oil, yep. some, right. some uh, coolant, there's a little bit of starting fluid, there's some rags, there's some first aid, there's another piece of cardboard there in case you decide that you want to sleep in a luggage bag. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Seems not you're, you're, in, you're in Minnesota, that's not coolant, that's antifreeze. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he's going to be going through the Midwest on his way, and if he does shut it off, it doesn't matter. I, I bought it myself. It's my gift to you. I got a crowbar. I'll try it out. Don't worry. We'll, uh, we'll put the correct. You got the. You got your number eleven. Time service. Five century Santa Monica, right across the, in big letters, down a little bit. There right there, there you go. There you go. <laughs> your, your brand new inspection sticker drew up on there. So you're all good. You got your oh, I'm gonna go make a copy of that and I'll be right back. Yeah, go for it. Hold on, I think they're gonna open the back. Frank, you here. I'm here. Alright. Just like the old days? No, because back in the old days, I was 23 years old and didn't have an ache on my body. <laughs> so now I'll be using that rail to get down. <laughs> so it's a little bit different. Yeah, a little bit different. Um, what's actually a little bit different was when I got in the bus, I almost, it had almost questioned whether it was or wasn't because they upgraded the shifter lever than did belong here. I had, a, I had a throttle cable here, uh -huh. so I was looking for that. I'm like, wait a minute, this isn't my bus, man. He goes, yes it is, yes it is. We just had all that changed, so I'm like, okay. But the gauges and everything are pretty much the same. Nothing's been changed here. Um, the SPAP card is still where it was. The registration card is still where it was. And uh, yeah, I mean, pretty much the only thing with the outside of the bus, a different color. Still have the wood paneling. The Santa Monica blue floor, which was very common, and um, they upgraded the seats a little bit, which looks a little bit nicer. And so what we're doing with this is we have a gap. I think my newest, apart from the J's and the E's that we have that we use for the movies, those are still in service though, we have the, I think the newest that goes is a Buffalo. So when they asked me for something from the 80s, I was, I've been able to get away from the bus with, with a Buffalo but they really sent me pictures of this. So I've already gotten three requests and they sent me an MC9 and not realizing that these nines are 40 years old, <laughs> you know? So that makes me like 50s plus, you know? <laughs> so uh, when, you know, when I thought of this, I said, if you call stand up, I said, you know what? I really want to buy the bus because I need it, I need it for the studio stuff. And they're starting to ask for, for a nine, for a, for a Greyhound nine. So this is going to be really nice for the collection. Um, of course, we won't paint it until we get the request for the for the color, and normally they'll you know they'll actually probably paint it for us. Oh wow! So nice. we'll we'll do it in house for them, but they'll request it be painted like a Greyhound bus, and uh, we'll get that done. 
so uh, it's just really neat and unique to go through, you know, some that you drove when you were in your 20s and just started driving and, you know, you're 50 plus and you find this thing and in the condition that it's in too. But not only that, you know, a good, a good friend and happens to own it. Yeah. So uh, it's pretty unique, pretty cool. You know, we have a lot of things in common. Uh, I think, I, I think we, we met about 10 years ago and I actually came up didn't, didn't know of him. I uh, knew he had some old buses, but really I never met. And we act, I actually went to pick up an MC5 just two blocks down here at, what is that, JD or a shop, yep. diesel shop? So I actually CNJ. Walked, CNJ. So I actually walked in there to pick up this five. And it was late, I think it was a Friday. And I had flown down just, just like this to get the bus and drive it home. And the guy in the shop, the owner tells me, hey, you know all these guys that have all these old buses down the corner, I'm like down the block? And I'm like, no. He goes, yeah, it goes two blocks down. So of course I can't pass that up. <laughs> so I jump in the bus, I go down there, and Stan happens to be in his car. And I believe back then, I think he was driving a, 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 a either a Firebird or a Camaro. And sitting there with his dog in the car. And uh, I approach him and tell him who I was. And we start talking. I think we literally talked for about two hours. We had so much different stuff in common that I stayed the next day and actually didn't leave till the next night, until like seven, eight o'clock at night. And then from there, we just stayed in touch. And you know, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be going to all these bus events and different things that I do, spending all this money on fuel <laughs> and stuff that I shouldn't be doing. So, so it's been fun. It's been it's been a fun adventure and. Uh, you know, seen a lot on the other side of the bus world that uh, we don't have back in Los Angeles. But remember, we don't have, I think some of our oldest companies are really only from the 70s. And you, you know, you come out here and you got companies that have been running, you know what, the 40s, the 50s, and we don't see that back home. Yeah. You know, you see someone from the mid 70s and you're like, oh wow, so they've been around for a long time. So it's a little bit different. It's a little bit different and it's neat to see that there's other people like you that, that, you know, that look for the same stuff. You know, it's pretty cool. Um, I wish I was painting square footage she's paying for over here. Yeah. <laughs> you know, for you back at home, back at home, it's a little bit different. So I gotta be really picky of what I, what I choose because I don't have the room. You know, so that really makes it hard. You know, so I'm around, I'm about 20, 30 miles from most of the big studios where I'm at, and uh, they'll even low boy the bus. Oh. and transported by truck and to tell you the truth I the last 10 years I've been doing this movie stuff I realized that I really don't use the buses too much for for moving scenes they're used more for uh, interior shots which yeah. means the bus never really goes anywhere and uh, the two big movies that we've worked on lately have uh, would be a once in a Upon a time in Hollywood uh, we have about six buses that came out in that movie and then we, we just did Le Mans, which at the time it was supposed to be Le Mans, and now they changed the name of the movie to uh, Mustang versus Ferrari. So we have about three buses in that movie, and that movie's about to come out, I think, in a couple weeks. Yeah, that's exciting. Yeah. I can't wait to see that. Yeah, so we have a couple of fish bowls, I think, in a over-the-road bus and that. So it's stuff like that that they use the buses for, for blocking. When they want to block an old building or a building that shouldn't be there, you can put a 40-foot bus in front of it, and it goes away. So, um, am I on your way? I'm sorry. Oh, that's right. Somebody wants to load bag. Yes. All right. I gotta, I gotta get some pills off for Stan. He lost his pill. We are okay. sending you away with your right. own luggage, which we thought was kind of nice. He's feeling some pain. Oh, I think they want me to go now. So I have a, a friend in Nashville that just rented his bus out for a movie. They, they paid him fifteen hundred dollars a day for three days. There you go. Is that a good price, or is that? We're at, we're at three thousand a day. Okay. <laughs> So he gave so him the, the coupon price. He gave him the coupon price. <laughs> so, so normally, well, you, well, you know, it, it's a different situation. Our buses actually, they run. They all operate. They don't have to be low void out there. As a matter of fact, when we went out and did the scene for uh, Mustang versus Ferrari, uh, we were 70 miles away from the movie shoot. And I told the guy that we were driving the buses up. And he thought I was kidding. So uh, me and one of the drivers, uh, one Saturday morning, got in and... We drove our two fish bowls up to the movie set, and the guy couldn't believe that these things were running that, that well. 
So it's good for them to go out and run, you know. Um, I've stayed away, the fish bowls I can get away with, but the, uh, and then people really get a kick of seeing them on the, on the road too. We get a lot of thumbs up, especially with the old RTD stuff. Um, now the old, the old, the old looks, um, those we've really been low boying now because they're getting a little bit more difficult to work on. And if something happens, um, they're really more afraid that it won't make the shoot. Yeah. So they'd rather take it up on a truck and not risk it. So, um, but you know, stuff like this, you can drive, you know, but like I said, you know, California with that uh, air quality stuff, unfortunately, but it doesn't pertain to private vehicles. Yeah. So that's a good thing. And, uh, and you know, I'll register these under my own, my own name. And, uh, you know, if it does maybe one or two movies a year, you know, that's, that's probably a good thing. Yeah. The time we get three or four out of them. Wow. For commercials and stuff. So it's been, it's been good. Um, we really don't use them anymore for you know, any kind of trips or anything like that. Yeah. But um, but they're still you know it, it's still a part of our culture and what we've been doing and what I've been doing since I was 18. So um, you know we really want to keep it going. You know especially when you you meet people like Stan that I mean he's got over a hundred. I you know I would shoot myself. <laughs> I just I can't imagine having that kind of. You know, I can barely keep up with the 15 and 17 that we have. <laughs> and I'm actually, we're, we're looking for another place. We're moving about 50 miles east of where we are because the property is so expensive now that it's more valuable to me to put these in a, in a vacant lot somewhere where they're safe and, and work like serviceable buses out of, our, uh, out of our property. Because, you know, the average bus parking space, I think, out where I am is about three fifty to $400. Wow. And that's just the park. You're not getting washed, you're not getting anything. I get people come up and ask us all the time. <laughs> we're, we're, we're lucky to be in a good position where we own our property and we're able to keep all our stuff within, you know, within our property. But like I said, these things are, you know, they're 40 feet long. Um, it's not like a car. And uh, sometimes it takes a while to get these things moved when they've been sitting. So, uh, you know, we're hoping to find something close that we can, we can keep working with the studios. And, uh, and keep you know keep them in a safe spot too. You just don't you know you don't want kids messing with them and stuff. But uh, you know we'll see. Hopefully in two days we'll be back in California with the bus. I'll be actually 20 miles from where the bus started. It's going back to Montebello, and uh, it actually started in, in Santa Monica, which we actually still do service for. We actually still do the service and charter work for the city of Santa Monica. Wow. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So I did, I did call them and tell them what I was doing. I found the bus, and I bought it, and I'm taking it back. And I, the, the, the director of the shop, Getty, he thought it was funny, because he was actually the guy that, that sold the bus to Stan's dad. You know, he was the one that came in and gave him the paperwork, the title. And uh, when Stan's dad took the, <laughs> took the paper out, took the, uh, he took the card out, and it actually had his little business card there, Getty Modica. I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> You know, still see that stuff. So um, we'll keep in touch. We'll call you and let you know two days from now yep. that we're sure we made it okay. Well, I'll, I'll be out in Southern California after the first of the year. So if oh, I get a chance, I'll look you up. You so. gotta come out. Yeah. You gotta come on. Yeah, I'll Do stop. Some work on some buses. Stop holding you up here and let you guys <laughs> no get on the road. All right, guys. It was so great, great meeting you both again. You. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks. somewhere right or no well I think about it I yeah. look and I got them upstairs in the back part the turn signals you know those half moon lenses oh no we're good I have them I have highlights I can send you some. all right sounds good 
and if you hear a little flap, that's right, the door. Of that little flap door. Yeah, I know, it's a door. It did it back then. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> the screen. Right, it's still that, that, was, that was too cheap to go out there and tell them to put a spring on it. <laughs> <laughs> I rigged up with a rubber band, put a rubber band around it, you hook it to the oh, so you the switch and it holds it shut. Yeah. All right. Rubber band lasts a little month. <laughs> Alright guys. Okay. We'll Alright guys. Alright. back home. That bus is going to like the weather better in California. <laughs> <laughs>